at Fire and Rescue New South Wales, we really encourage you to have evacuation plan in place at home. So some of those things that you can do are make sure you check your smoke alarms, changing your batteries when you change the clock, having an evacuation plan in place so you know where your exit points are and that everyone in the household knows where they have to go. So as parents or adult guardians at home, we can encourage our kids by doing drill evacuations. We also really recommend that your children know what their residential address is. So in case they have to call AAA themselves, we know exactly where we can go to. In our residential homes, we do mostly have smoke alarms, but we also have additional extras like fire blankets for the kitchen or little fire extinguishers. Those are extra things that we have in place to keep us safe so that you can start the process going before we get there. We do recommend using fire blankets in the kitchen. We don't recommend using water as we usually use fats and oils in the kitchen. With water, they can explode and harm ourselves. With blankets, they tend to smother and then that gives us time to evacuate the building. In the case that you do have a fire extinguisher in your home, we use the plan PASS to keep it simple. So what we do is we pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the trigger and sweep side to side at the base of the fire. In the event that there is a fire in your home, that's where our evacuation plan kicks in. And as the old saying goes, we get down low and go, go, go and raise the alarm to triple O. In the event that you don't have smoke alarms in your home or they're not working, you can contact your local fire and rescue station via their mailbox or social media. We do come out and install battery-wired smoke alarms as well as doing home safety checks where we can take you through an evacuation plan. Any more information can be found on our fire and rescue website online.